pretty ordinary objects and stuff that you've no doubt seen before. Uh, here we have a dice, and uh, this is a dice cup. Um, trouble is, when a magician produces a dice, your thoughts immediately turn to loaded dice or trick dice. So before we go any further, I will show you that each time we turn out the dice, we will get a different number, that was a six, and a five, and so on and so forth. Every time, uh, a different number, okay? So with that in mind, I'm going to shake up the dice inside the cup, have you remember whichever number lands on top, and then just keep that number in your mind. Okay. Have a look. Alright, so you're thinking of a number now in your mind. What I'm going to do is take the dice, place it in my pocket, and ask you just to concentrate, concentrate on that number. Okay, let me look at you. That's the number six you're thinking of, right? Now, maybe I guessed, but the point is, it provides just enough confusion that you actually forget where I placed the dice, right? You remember? In my pocket, see, that's what you're supposed to think. It's actually back uh, under the cup. There it is. It's a strange one, and uh, most people do want to see it twice, so I will give you an opportunity to see that again. I'll take the dice, place it in my pocket, and if you're concentrating, you should remember that it's actually back underneath the cup again, I know. I'll actually tell you how it's done, which is unusual for a magician. A magician normally does not reveal his secrets, but it's actually done in two phases. First, the black spots go under the cup, leaving me with uh, this thing. Now, the little white cube is a much more difficult thing to vanish. It requires a little bit of Michael Amar's painted wiffle dust, and uh, there it goes. There goes the uh, white cube, and it should reform with the black dots under the cup. Let's see. There it is. Wonderful. Very good. Now, this is all went swimmingly, but I will be honest, sometimes it doesn't go quite so well. Sometimes the uh, little dice will get stuck halfway as it grows back into existence under the cup, and that can cause a small problem. A small problem. It's a small problem. It's a tiny dice. Um, yeah, that is a small problem, no doubt about it. But look, everything else went well, so I don't see that as a big negative, do you? A big negative. A big negative. You see what I mean? It's a it's different opposite colours, um, but the bigger. Yeah. Um, you've got every excuse in the world for missing uh, the big negative because it's the same colour as the cup and the map. No excuse however for missing um, this one here. Uh, I don't know where that came from and that's cubism.